welcome to toast thoughts of a stoner tube damn what a time to be raped okay now i did a live stream uh briefly touching on this uh salute to everybody that's fucking with me in the live streams man did two did my first two yesterday and it was pretty cool man we fucking i'm fucking with it and i'm fucking with those who fucking with me in the live streams man so if you ain't catching the live streams you sleep i can't really say you sleep because i just started but don't sleep how about that don't miss them now anyway Drake and Future. These niggas had, had a tour, right? Remember the What a Time to Be Alive tour with the album and all that? Well, these niggas were on tour and uh, allegedly, okay, a female got raped at one of their shows. Now, a female, she was approached by a man by the name of Levy Johnson, Levy Johnson, and he basically told the bitch this. Uh, listen, I can get you backstage to go see Future and Drake. And she was like, oh, really? Okay. So she got up, okay, because she was indeed hot in the pants. Now, the whole incident, if it's true, it's very tragic. I don't want to, you know, seem like I'm defending rape or nothing like that because I'm not. But her intentions were to get fucked, okay? She wanted to get fucked by Drake and Future. Now, I said this in my live stream. It didn't seem like anyone disagreed with me. But she, her intentions was to get fucked, okay? But she was... Then in turn, brutally assaulted, okay, by Livy Johnson, and she was forced against her will, or she was forced to have sex against her will, okay? Which in turn would make this guy a creep, okay? Because you gotta be a pathetic, desperate son of a bitch to force someone to have sex with you, okay? No means no, dog. If a woman says no, fuck it, all right? Go find another one. But do not force a woman to lay down with you. That's fucking disgusting. And I can't I can't condone that shit in any way. Alright, now, this allegedly happened in Tennessee in 2016. Alright, they said that the guy, the uh, suspect, Mr. Johnson, he's been arrested and he's awaiting trial. Okay, so it, it it's it's a strong possibility that it's true. He's been arrested and he's awaiting trial. And they also said that he has an extensive uh, record or he has a violent past and that the venue should have known this before hiring them and somehow Drake and Future are responsible so they're getting sued for 25 million dollars now do you think that the the lawsuit is gonna uh, stick go through or do you think they're gonna settle like if they do if they do end up getting sued what do you think that they're gonna pay because 25 M's is a lot of fucking money I, I would think they might settle for like 10 or 15 maybe 10 or 15 either way she's coming up she's gonna be a millionaire from this uh and it's unfortunate that this is how she had to you know come up or it, it's just unfortunate that you know if she did get her you know pussy taken from her it's fucked up because she didn't want to at least not with you my nigga so if you get charged with this then shit man it's well deserved bro well deserved we don't condone rape around this motherfucker. We don't do that, all right? Now, what I think about this, I, I don't think that this is Drake and Future's fault, okay? I don't think this is Drake and Future's fault that you, you know, you were thirsty and you wanted to go backstage and meet them. And I don't think that it's their fault that the venue hired this motherfucker to work there, okay? These niggas ain't finna be in your town for more than a day or two. It's not their fault. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. Uh, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm gone.